our boy's been gone for 929 days now. Ty Smalley was just 11 years old on that fateful day in May of 2010, the day he took his own life. He would have been 14 now. He's not going to get his driver's license. He doesn't go to the prom. Not going to get married. Ty's father, Kirk, says before it happened, Ty had been bullied for several years by a group of boys at his school in Perkins. You know, he'd get called names, he'd get pushed around, he got shoved into lockers, crammed into trash cans. That day, Ty fought back. Ty just had enough. He, he retaliated, and, and you know, it's always the second guy that gets caught. Ty was suspended and sent home from school early, and that's when it happened. He got a gun out of our closet. Uh, it was one that I taught him to shoot. Ty's mother came home that day to find her son dead, and she called Kirk. She was just screaming, and I couldn't understand anything that she was trying to say. She just screamed and screamed, and she managed to say he's dead. He shot himself. Kirk says his family's life will never be the same, and he's made it his mission to change others. I'm here to tell you about what happened to Ty, and I'm hoping that by doing that, you guys can help me make sure that this doesn't ever happen again to another kid. Smalley tours schools all over the globe, spreading the anti-bullying message. Two News went along on his visit to Milburn schools in southeast Oklahoma. Smalley gets emotional during each school visit. He says during each presentation, he relives the day his son died. But he says it's worth it if his message is heard. So I know that it makes a difference. I know it's impactful to him. He says since he started his Stand Up for the Silent campaign, he's received numerous messages and emails. I've got a folder in one of my emails accounts that, that's labeled suicide messages. Kids that have said, I was going to kill myself until I heard you speak. Uh, and it's full of thousands of those messages. We get messages from bullies that say, I never realized that what I, I was doing could cause this. Students at Milburn say the program is something they will not soon forget. He's an amazing person to stand up and go to all these places and talk. And he just has such a passion for it. And you can feel the passion when he speaks. And I just, I just loved it. In our world, every seven seconds, a child is being bullied. You can even see it on their faces while they watch the presentation. I was not expecting uh, such an emotional story. I knew it was emotional, but I cried through the entire thing. You believe that you are somebody? Yeah! This is a mission Kirk Smalley takes seriously, a promise to his son he intends to keep. I promised him that I was going to stop bullying in this world, and I don't break promises to my kid. A promise born out of Ty's final action. His parents will never forget what drove Ty to take his own life, and Kirk Smalley hopes his work will make a difference so other kids won't suffer the same fate. Brianne Palmerini, 2 News, works for you.